Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, are you ready for the ultimate freedom, the next step, the future of VR? That's right, today we are going to play with the Vive wireless adapter in combination with a haptic suit and the Pro. I feel like a real gunter. I'm pretty much Oasis ready. <laughs> yes, so uh, my uh, wireless adapter arrived yesterday and uh, it took me about an hour to set up. Not bad at all. They had a uh, manual that came with the package that was pretty straightforward and you could also follow a online guide. So yeah, consumers will definitely be able to hook it up to their uh, PCs. And it's impressive, it works, it works really well. I don't have to worry about stepping onto my my cables anymore. I'm not getting tangled up in a corner of my play space. And yes, that happened a couple of times. But you may know I'm a room scale monster. I like to explore every corner, every nook and cranny of my room scale area. And usually that got me into trouble. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you. Oh, you're so cute. Cuteness overload. I love my robo doggy. He's the best. <laughs> Aww, adorable. So yeah, of course, now you also want to know the price of this Vive wireless adapter. Well, um, get ready, uh, prepare your anus. It's uh, $300, that's when you have a Vive uh, Vanilla. If you have a Vive Pro, you need to pay $360. And why is it more expensive? That's because the uh, Vive Pro has a different build, so you need to um, get an additional kit that allows you to attach it to your Pro. So that's why. That makes a little bit more sense if I explain it. Now we should play some games of course, so let me just grab this and uh, dive deeper down the rabbit hole. Test Traveler has successfully returned in Pocket Universe Lab 8. Congratulations, Test Traveler. Thank you, it's me. It's going to be one of those uh, ramble videos. But uh, technically, you would be able to do a backflip now or a wall uh, run. Uh, it's all possible. The, let's say possibilities are endless. It, it doesn't matter what you do because cables are not going to be your worst enemy anymore. But anyway, a lot of you want to know how the, how the weight of the Vive wireless adapter is. And I can tell you, it's great. You don't feel it at all. Uh, and that's because of the new neck cushion you get with the wireless adapter. Uh, it pretty much um, balances out the device on the back of your head. It's, it's a bigger, bigger neck cushion. It goes from um, the, the, the bottom of your neck all the way to the top, uh, the middle of your, of your head. So it makes sure that it's not moving around. It makes sure that it stays in, in, in position and that you are not able to feel it. So Nati totally approves. I, I hope that was a good explanation. You liked it? Yes? Okay. <laughs> if you like archery titles, this is a must try. It, it really is. It's so satisfying. Hey! Ooh. The heart wants to destroy my castle. It's not gonna happen. Run away! Yes! Ha ha ha! So, cable versus wireless. Any differences, Navy? Uh, not really, no. The only big difference is, is that I will have to charge my battery pack after three hours of playing. Well, if you are using a cable, you don't have to do that. But performance-wise, it's the same. It's, it's, it's not different. It looks good, it sounds good, everything is in sync. The haptic feedback is responding at the right time. The tracking is really solid, so you don't need to worry. And uh, then last but not least, it just, just plays very well. It's all working. There is no way someone could actually uh, find out if that person was playing wireless or uh, playing with a cable. There is no way you can, you can uh, see or even experience the difference. And that's really impressive. 
but even the fact that this battery pack lasts for three hours isn't really a bad thing at all it's it's decent three hours is a lot and let's say you don't think that is enough you can always buy additional batteries and uh, uh, boost up your playtime you can let's say buy two more and, and have like nine hours of playtime it's Also, some people were wondering if you need to sacrifice your field of view like you had to do with the TP cast. If you were using the TP cast, your field of view was becoming smaller, but then you could play wireless. But uh, in the case of the uh, wireless adapter from Vive, um, that's not an issue. So you just have the same field of view as when you have with a cable. So you don't have to worry about that. Plus, if you are a VR content creator like me, um, you don't have to um, uh, worry about uh, using a wireless microphone to record your, your uh, gameplay sessions. It doesn't uh, desync anything, it doesn't act up funny, so all the devices around you that you use uh, should work fine with this uh, adapter. So, yeah, uh, overall um, a positive experience, but I haven't used it on a daily basis yet. Let's see how it does in the long run, but for now, Nathy is a very happy gunter, yeah. <laughs> I hope this, uh, this video is, uh, is useful. I'm trying my best here. Just after I came back from Oculus Connect, I I got a fever, so I still don't feel that good. Oh, what just happened over there? A frame drop? Would that be the first one? I think so. You saw it here first, folks. Burn! All of you! Okay, I'm going to uh, I'm going to leave this uh, this one and uh, play one more mini game before we go. So the battery pack uh, that comes with the Vive wireless adapter is a Vive branded one, and at the moment people are trying to find other power banks that work with the the adapter. And so far, no luck, but I'm sure there is a workaround for that. So that means that you would be able to carry a bigger a bigger uh, battery pack that allows you to play way longer. I'm sure some of you prefer that. So we'll see, time will tell. Um, I think we should play one more game before we go. Let's try uh, Xartax. Oh, I can shoot the, the credits. <laughs> Eat this. Okay, let's uh, grab the, the portal and go. Defend your ship. Let's go for classic. Okay. Let's go. If you are a room scale gunter like me, you will you will definitely appreciate this wireless adapter. I love to walk around. I love to crawl, jump, do everything. It just it just adds up to the immersion. It's so freeing. Whoa! Woo! Eat this! Right in the kisser. Oh no, oh no. Stop it. He's laughing. I'm going to be the last one who's laughing. How about that? Ooh, lasers. Lasers everywhere. I need to charge up. Oh, you're a tough nut to crack, my friend. Oops! Okay, okay, okay. Focus, Nate, focus. 
Oh, it's getting a little complicated now. Ah, okay, well, that's it then. I got a new PC, by the way. If you are interested in the specs, I will make sure they are in the description below. I'm still waiting for the RDX cards. But my new processor is a beast. It's, oh, it's so nice for editing videos. We now have the, the ship. <laughs> yeah, I had to reinstall Windows, so all my progression in the lab is gone, so another reason to play it more. Woo! <laughs> go get it, go get it, come on. <laughs> I'm going to shoot the employees if I can. Oh! Ho -ho! <laughs> oh! Oh! I'm ruining everything here. So yes, that's it. Thanks for watching everyone. Um, if you have any questions, uh, if you enjoyed the video, um, then be sure to uh, uh, drop a comment below or simply like this video. And now it's time for me to sign off. See you in the metaphors and uh, until next time. You wanna say bye to the people out there? Oh, you want to twerk again? Okay, here, twerk, twerk for them. Nailed it. Okay, see ya! <laughs>